So I'm a band manager. A couple of years ago, I started a tech company, so now I'm a tech entrepreneur. But what I really am is an addict. See, I don't know why, but I spend almost every waking hour chasing one thing, and that's one of these. It's a hit. And I've defined a hit as this. It's not a small win. It's something which is so successful, it generates a transformative interest in popular culture. And it drives people like me crazy. So I've had some success in creating these things. In music, here are some of the artists that I developed here in Australia. And I think I came up with a formula for what makes a hit in music. But what I want to know is, can I apply my same formula to my tech startup? And are we even going to have hits in the future? Like, so much is changing. Will there, could there be another Beatles? Like, will there be another Facebook? So let's see what's happening in music. I started in music in 2000, and back then it was all about getting through these three gates. If you could get through these three gates, you could be successful, which meant getting signed to a major label. Then technology came along, and all of a sudden anyone could make a record at home, release it on iTunes, and promote it through social media. So what happened is pretty much overnight, the number of albums being released each year tripled for different reasons. The number of albums being sold every year halved, but what happened to the hits? Interestingly, the top five selling albums are selling more now than ever before. And a hit record today is proportionately six times bigger than it was 10 years ago. And the same thing's happening in technology. So just like technology democratized music, technology is now democratizing technology. Now anyone with an idea, like me, can have a startup. And what's happening is competition is going crazy. Last year, two and a half million domain names were registered every single day. There's more than half a million apps on the App Store, but are there still hits? Well, Pinterest just became the fastest growing site in history, and Instagram just added 10 million users in just like 10 days last month. So why now there is so much more choice? Are more people choosing the same thing? Well, I think it's because more competition is leading to higher quality and so more popular products. And you add social media, it's like a gasoline, and things just happen so much faster. So now we know there can still be hits. I'll show you my formula for how I make them. Let's look. These are some of the most successful artists in the last 50 years. Let's see what they have in common. Well, first of all, they all make a social comment that connects people at a relevant time. So Nirvana, 1992, a time of global recession. Nirvana were the voice of an angry generation. And in the same way, Lady Gaga is the voice of a movement of kids who are reacting against this culture of celebrity. If you don't feel like you're perfect, you can be a Gaga monster. Each of these, arti each of these artists are delightfully original, and they all represent greatness. So I'll come to greatness later. So this was my formula in music, and it worked pretty well for me. <laughs> and then I came to start my tech company, Posse. Here is what it looked like um, when we launched. And I didn't even think that some of the same rules that I'd learned in music could, could work here. So we went live, and we did OK. We got a few thousand users. But it was clear that it wasn't going to be a hit. And for me, that was very distressing. See, I'm like not someone who handles failure very well. So I started studying other successful tech companies to see if they had anything in common. And here's what I found. The same thing that makes a music hit, that I found that makes a music hit, also makes a tech hit. All of these sites connect people at a time when they want to be connected. They're all delightfully original. Who knew that I ever wanted to be the mayor of my local supermarket? And they all represent greatness. So greatness, it sounds like a fluffy quality, but it's not. If I played you a new song by one of my artists, I could tell if it was great by your reaction. If there was a magic flash of excitement in your eyes, if you begged me to hear it again, then I know that it's a hit. And I think that it's the same in technology. There's so much competition now that if a product is going to work, when a user touches it, they've got to be so excited, they just can't wait to go home. They're like bursting to get home and tell all their friends about it. So that's my formula. Um, obviously, there's a bit of luck involved in these things, but I'm pretty confident that the fundamentals of it are right. So earlier this year, I actually pulled down Posse, and we recreated our strategy based entirely on these three principles. And I guess time will tell if it's going to work. So when I was 
writing this talk, I had had a sense that all of the great things had come before my time. But what I discovered, what I'm happy to report, is that hits of the future, they'll be better, bigger, and they're going to happen faster than ever before. 